Hello, everybody. Jane Hamill, how are you? Welcome to this episode of Steal This. Today, it's down and dirty. I'm going to show you how to get people to buy on your website, what you can do to encourage somebody to say, I want that right now, instead of, I'll come back later, or let me think about it. All right, so we want to give them a reason to make a purchase, right? So let me show you what we got going here. Um, the idea of a countdown timer is not a new thing at all for online marketing or for selling info products or people who are selling products from webinars and things, but it's getting to be more common now in retail and, and e-commerce. So check it out. This is Kate Spade. When you go here, it's pretty soft here, okay? You can see it right there. You can really are focused on this bag and really the kittens and everybody loves cute kittens, right? So it says, ends tonight, enjoy 25% off your purchase in our shops and at katespade.com with the code. But it's pretty hidden, you don't really see it. However, when you click to the shopping page, you see that it comes up as a real timer. And so it says, hey, get 25% off your purchase, ends in eight hours, 51 minutes, and 31 seconds, which gives you a little bit more like, oh, if I'm going to do it, I better do it today because I want the 25% off. I, I don't want to put it off. So here's a little, um, um, you know, closer view, um, zooming on in for what this timer looks like. So having a timer, having scarcity, having you know, a deadline like this, whether it's sale or not, really can drive people to buy. And so before you say to me, but Jane, I don't know how to get a countdown timer on my website. First of all, I hope you're not the person who's doing the tech on your website, and I know a lot of you are, but I would encourage you to really start thinking and changing your mindset towards how can I make more money and sell more stuff so I can pay someone to do that kind of stuff I don't really wanna do. All I did here is a simple Google search, countdown timer for e-commerce, and it comes up with a whole bunch of them. There's one for Shopify, uh, WooCommerce, I mean, everything. So, you know, all you have to do is get the um, app, get the plugin, whatever you wanna do, there's tons of them. It's not a big deal. However, I do, I strongly encourage you to not be the one who has to do this type of stuff, unless it is the fact, unless of course you happen to be a web developer on the side, which I doubt. So that's it for today. What can you do to get, encourage people to buy something now? And Count Time Timer can be a really great way to give them a sense of urgency. All right, so this is Steal This, where I bring you marketing and selling ideas from around the interwebs and around the world. Um, if you're not getting these videos via email, sign up, head over to fashionbrainacademy.com, get on the list. Have a great day. Bye guys. Enjoy.